no one would have ever imagined something slightly like this could happen in Moscow, Idaho, in such a small town. A small college town, usually full of life, students walking to class, until tragedy struck the community Sunday night. It's been a heavy heart. Uh, you can feel it from every person you interact with to the people you walk by. Four University of Idaho students killed, their bodies found by Moscow police Sunday. It's been called a homicide. The investigation ongoing. students and community members coming to the harsh reality that death and tragedy can make its way anywhere even the rural town of moscow idaho breaking overnight police are now investigating the deaths of four students at the university of idaho as homicides the victims were found in a home near campus in the city of moscow and as of last night no suspects were in custody police are not saying how the victims died andrew tell us what you're seeing and hearing now here live in moscow well, Doug, we'll start by kind of getting our bearings here. This is the corner of King and Queen in Moscow. Now, for our photojournalist, Troy wants to pan for a second in this direction. You can see the water tower. That's kind of where the heart of campus is here at the U of I. So this is just adjacent to it. Now, this is the house where this has happened. It's all blocked off with police tape. We can see there's one Moscow police car over in the corner, kind of near the end of the house there. And there is a Moscow police officer in that car. We've kind of seen him get in and out of his car and float around. Um, but of course, we're not getting a ton of information right now. We do know, as you said, Doug, four people dead, all students here at the University of Idaho. It is being investigated as a homicide. This was sort of discovered yesterday around noon when police responded to a call of an unconscious person. When they arrived on scene, they seen that there are four students that are dead. There's no suspect at this time. The latest we've heard from Moscow police, they do not believe there's an active threat out to the community either. Now we have these names and we can release them for you guys right now if we want to throw up a graphic that makes it a little bit easier to digest. It's Ethan Chapin, a 20-year-old from Conway, Washington. Madison Mogan, a 21-year-old from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Zanna Kernoodle, a 21-year-old from Avondale, Arizona, but we do know that she originally is from Post Falls, Idaho. And then Kaylee Goncavs, 21-year-old from Rathdrum, Idaho. And we talked with a student who lives right next to this house where this happened. She had no idea that any of this happened the night of. She says that the next day they saw these police cars out and everybody in that house, six people live there. They've all since gone home. Her and her last roommate were the last two to leave. She says that's the same for all the houses in this block in and around this area of town. These students are going home early for Thanksgiving break after talking with their parents and deciding that that's how they feel most safe and most comfortable. So a lot of people going home early. There is a vigil scheduled for tomorrow at 5 p.m. We know that is confirmed through the university spokesperson, Kyle Fawn and Steele. So we'll be on site for that as well and bring you the latest there. In terms of what exactly transpired, what led to this, if it was an act of aggression, if it was violent, not a lot of details are getting confirmed right now. We're continuing to push to ask for these answers to find out what exactly transpired to lead to these students' deaths. Uh, with the police department about um, a suspect? No, and I think that's the part that makes this most confusing right now. In terms of information we've been able to get confirmed, the, the Police department does not believe that there is a current ongoing threat. People do not have to shelter in place according to the police. But they also say that they don't exactly have a suspect narrowed down right now. So it is a little bit of confusing or seemingly conflicting information, trying to push to make sense of it all, to try to get these dots to connect because there's a lot of rumors going around about what may or may not have happened and getting these dots to fit together, looking to get confirmed information so we know how they fit together, Doug.